is for blood flow, which is critical to life. Blood carries nutrients to every cell in the body and removes toxins. Low blood flow is the number one brain imaging predictor of Alzheimer's. New research suggests that brain cells don't age. Rather, it's your blood vessels that age. Anything that damages them damages your hippocampus and starves Scarlet and Sam of the nutrients they need. So how do you improve blood flow today? Limit caffeine and nicotine. Both constrict blood flow to the brain. A cup of coffee a day is not a problem, but more caffeine than that can be trouble. Be serious about treating high blood pressure. As blood pressure goes up, blood flow to your brain goes down. If you have any heart issues, be serious about treating them. Anything that damages your heart also damages your brain, and avoid being a couch potato. On the other hand, eating chili peppers and beets can help increase blood flow, as can taking the supplement ginkgo. The prettiest brains I've ever seen take ginkgo. Exercise, especially walking like you're late. Did you know that people who are 80, who can walk three miles an hour, have a 90% chance of living to 90? But those who can only walk one mile an hour have a 90% chance they won't live to 90. Also, I like a treatment called hyperbaric oxygen therapy because I've seen it increase blood flow to the brain. We published a study on the use of hyperbaric oxygen on veterans with brain injuries and showed it significantly increased blood flow and helped improve their memory and mood. Throughout the program, I'll talk about how important the right foods are to your memory. My wife, Tana, and Amon Clinic chef, Honor Harvey, have created recipes to support each of the Bright Minds risk factors. One of my favorites is Beet Street Tacos, which contain 10 different ingredients to support healthy blood flow.